Hey guys, what's up? Sports Talk One Two Three here, and uh, today I'm here to talk about the uh, fail of an injury Corey Wooten had. Uh, he's the defensive end for the Chicago Bears who got injured uh, during the preseason game on kickoff. Now, obviously, the Chicago Bears don't like the new kickoff rule of moving the kickoff up to the 35-yard line. So obviously, it takes away some of their uh, some of their options and threats. Uh, obviously. Johnny Knox, Devin Hester, don't have Daniel Manning anymore, but he was a return threat. Guys like that. Those guys can no longer make an impact because most teams have kickers that can kick the ball out of the end zone every time from 35 yards. Now, 30 yards was obviously the perfect distance. I mean, it got the kickers kicking it pretty much almost out of the goal line, almost out of the end zone, but just kept it in the end zone, so every play was usually a return. Only a few kickers could really get it out of the end zone every time. But now pretty much moving it five yards up, pretty much any kicker can get it out of the back end zone every time unless you're just a team that doesn't have a strong kicker. But most teams do. Now, obviously the Bears don't like this rule. It takes away Hester, it takes away players like Josh Cribbs and that. And Hester, he mostly makes his money on being a return man. Obviously, he does a lot more of his damage on punts, but he still does some kicks. Johnny Knox does some stuff on kicker turns. And that's one of the Bears' main ways of offense. I mean, they don't have a great offense, and that's part of the way they score, and this definitely takes away from that. Uh, now, so in the Bears' free, first preseason game, uh, I guess rebelling against a rule, I guess uh, Lovey Smith said that he wanted to get a good look at how his uh, kicker turn team was doing. So the Bears kick off from the 30-yard line instead of the 35-yard line. And uh, this is obviously, they move it up to the 35-yard line to, pre to prevent the head-on-head -head collisions and injuries. And the first time the Bears do this kickoff from the 30-yard line, of course, uh, somebody gets injured, but it's not the other team's player, it's the Bears player. So they're doing this for safety reasons, and the Bears try to go against it. And, uh, and uh, of course, on the very first try, Corey Wooten goes down with an injury. Uh, also, they'd also do it one more time, but then after the second time, uh, they'd get a call from the league telling them to put a stop to it and make them kick from the 35-yard line. Uh, obviously, Lovey Smith said this is just because he wanted to see where his kicker turn team was at. But uh, I mean, you can believe that if you want. I I don't believe that. Uh, obviously, a lot of people don't. They're obviously. I just think they're rebelling against the rule. They don't like the rule. They want to change, and they're just showing their uh, just showing that they don't like it. And this is their way of sending a message to the league. But obviously, the league's not going to put up with it, and they're not going to be doing that anymore. Not going to happen in the preseason, not going to happen in the regular season. They might try it again, but it's not going to happen. But obviously, I just thought this was a little funny, a little ironic, that, uh, of course, on the very first time they do it, a Bears player would go down with an injury, just their luck and stuff like that. But it was just kind of funny. Uh, I just want to tell you guys a story, and I just thought it was kind of weird. But definitely freak injury. Hope Corey Wooten's okay. Uh, I mean, I wish him the best. He's a pretty good player for the Bears. Uh... But, you know, that's what happens, I guess. Rules are made for a reason. But, alright, that's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks a lot. See ya.